Hey Leo, Sun, Moon, and Rising. Welcome to Live, Laugh, Love, Tear It. Today we're doing the next 48 hours from now, okay? So when you're seeing this, that's when it's meant for you. It is a timeless reading, okay? Um, take it how it resonates. If it resonates for you, this can play out past, present, or future. You can always check out my playlist for additional collective reads. I do have personals available. Link will be down below in the description box. Remember, you will only ever book a personal with me through my website, okay? Uh, and I do definitely want to thank all of those people who have been booking personals with me. It is greatly appreciated as well as everyone has been smashing that like button, okay? Getting the message out there, letting me know if it resonates for you, okay? As well as the donations and the tips, they're all greatly appreciated, okay? Let's go ahead and delve into next 48 hours for Leo. Leo, you could be dealing with a Scorpio, some moon arising in the next 48 hours. Wow, we're having dangerous karmic ties. Okay, Leo, some shit may hit the fan. Look, wake up. Someone is about to receive a rude awakening. So there may be a karmic within the next 48 hours in your energy trying to plot against you. But I see they're going to have a wake up call. Okay, I feel as though you're highly protected, hacked. You've been hacked. Hmm. Check your passwords, you know. Um, look, fake news. Self-judgment. So somebody may try to um, hack into like your social media, your YouTube or uh, for some of you, that's just jumping out your YouTube, okay? Others of you, um, just like your social media, your bank account stuff, I'm really getting like more so like social media, you know, even maybe email or something like that. Um, but there's an energy of just fake news, you know, like this person is just so fake. They may on the outside try to make it seem like they are more confident than they are, okay? They have a lot of self-judgment and they may judge themselves, compare themselves to you, okay? Let's see what fell out. Mm -hmm. Here we have karma. Your or their time has come. Now, we already see that here already, right? Because this person was going to have a rude awakening, like a wake-up call, right? Yeah, self-judgment. This person is constantly judging themselves, judging themselves. Energy interference. What's at the top? Grass looks greener, but it's artificial. And a hot mess. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. This person is a pretender. Always crying or has something going on. Mm-hmm self-judgment that makes a lot of sense and then we have seduces and manipulates men so that's succubus energy yeah i even saw setup so yeah <clears throat> just be mindful in the next 48 hours you know somebody you may get like a notification to your email or something like uh, an attempt on your Facebook, an attempt on your YouTube, you know, an attempt on your email. It's going to be something like that, but I feel like you're protected. Like, I feel like everything is okay. It's like not really a false alarm, but nothing to really worry about, okay, because everything was taken care of. I'm also getting that this person is receiving some type of karma, some type of backlash, okay? Yeah. I wouldn't worry too much about it. I see luck is on your side here in this pre-shuffle. Let's delve deeper. Yeah, switching up. They're switching up on you. So look, um, I wonder. Let me get one more. Why switching up? Liar. So this person may try to do something like and leave like a paper trail I'm getting and they're going to lie about it. Scream goes to the extremes for attention. This is somebody's karmic that you could be dealing with, Leo. That's what it looks like. And they try to like get in your stuff or something like, ew, you know, that's what I'm kind of getting. I can't even 
that's the vibe I'm getting. Yeah, bipolar disorder. So this person is like one minute trying to come at you. This person may come at you some type of way, you know, but then they're going to be like, oh, no, I didn't do that. I didn't say that. I didn't mean it like that. Someone needs to take care of their health. Damn. So spirit is saying like bipolar disorder. This person could have this disorder and they could not be taking their meds. Okay. Materialistic. And your luck is about to change. So this person could have been very materialistic. Yeah. Broken promises. Someone has broken or is about to break a promise. So look. The person you're dealing with, preparing for what's to come. Look, the person you're dealing with probably broke up with this person. And now they're in your energy in the next 48 hours, Leo. But know that you are protected. Yeah, I see some type of regret here. Let's delve deeper into the situation, please. And thank you, next 48 hours for Leo. <laughs> Excuse me, Leo. Let me just drink some water real quick. Y'all know I don't never do that. So that's that throat chakra energy. Like somebody don't want me to say this. Like somebody is trying to be real sneaky. I'm getting that it's this karmic. Look, with the nine of wands here, it's somebody that's resilient. They just trying to do what they could do. Just trying. Yeah, with a strength card here. Leo, this is you. Queen of Wands, this person has you in a third party. That's what this is. Some of you, some of you all, you know it. The Tower, Regret, and Justice. Hmm. It seems like this person underestimates you, Leo, in the next 48 hours. And I mean, it's not that far-fetched. Hmm, with the four cups here and the devil and the will of fortune. It's like this person miscalculated something. You know, they left some type of clue, something caught up with them and bit them in the ass. That's what I'm seeing. And I'm seeing karma. That's why karma is here. They tried to get Joe and they got humbled. Okay. This person did switch up. They changed that tune. No, for sure they did. Yeah. With the tower here still coming out. Because they didn't expect you to be the way that you are. <laughs> Look, I'm a Leo son, so I already know. It's like you don't back a lion into a corner, okay? Um, here we have Ten of Cups. This person could have even lied and said that they were pregnant or had... This person could have children um, with the person you're dealing with, probably, and that's the only card that they could pull. Like, well, we're a happy family. Why well, just hear, um, what was his name? And Terrence's parents have a real nice marriage. Like, on uh, email. So somebody could watch that. Yeah, damn. And then look, Spirit like, yep, true. Like, so this person was lying. Yeah, Ace of Pentacles is at the bottom. Yeah, here we have... Eight of Cups and Seven of Pentacles. This person is almost waiting for the person you're dealing with to leave them. It's only a matter of time before they break up or they're already broken up. And this person is trying to make it seem, yeah, could be dealing with a Capricorn, Sun, Moon, or Rising. But this person is like obsessed and I'm getting over you and the Capricorn. Yeah, expect the message to come in. And the chariot, this person is going to tell you the truth and want to move forward with you, okay? Yeah, Ace of Wands, they're going to want to move forward and have a new beginning. They're going to break up with this past person. <coughs> <coughs> oh my, <coughs> I'm so sorry, Leo. This person must really, like, don't want me to say nothing or it's just like something that's just... With the magician here and the emperor and the eight of pentacles the person that you're both dealing with that's leaving this um karmic person in the past they're going to be very determined to come towards you this is an entrepreneur type person 
um, fully capable. Like this is a boss, okay? And they're working at what it is that they want. Look, Queen of Pentacles. Two of Pentacles. Could be could be juggling you with an earth sign. Two of Cups and Nine of Wands. So at one point in time, this person was telling you and this third party what y'all <coughs> wanted to hear. Yeah, if anything, it's the person you're dealing with. Look, the person you're dealing with, um, they could be real hush about who they are. You may not know as much, you know, for some of you all. Especially when I get to talking about this third party, it's like I'm getting a choking and everything. And this don't never happen to me, okay? So, look, let's go ahead and clarify. Smash that like button if you don't really know much about this person. You know, maybe not even a karmic, but you know, maybe they, I don't know, shit. You may know they got a baby mama or a baby father or something like that. Queen of Swords. Wow. I see you looking right through this person. This person is emotionally immature to you. With the four cups here. It's almost an energy of you feeling like this person is without, with the five of cups here. And you're not worried, like, by this third party. You're not worried about them once. It's like they do something, they say something, and they reveal that, you know, you have the upper hand or something. Yeah, with the six of pentacles. And the four swords. Look, Leo's is smart as fuck. I don't know why people be... <laughs> I don't know, you know. With the page of swords, yeah, you done studied the situation. You've studied it. Like, you've studied this person. Look right through their ass. With the moon card, they didn't even know this. And they're like trying to come towards you or something. And they say something or they send you a message or they reach out some type of way or they try to hack your shit. Two of Wands, there is a decision made. What's this decision? Nine of Pentacles. <laughs> that you're single, abundant, you look good, and you smell good. That's so Leo, isn't it? Like, uh, to, enough about them. <laughs> That's what I'm getting, Leo, as you should, okay? <laughs> okay, what else? Here we have, yeah, the death card. <clears throat> you may already, like, you may see this person, or you may, like, Get the vibe from this person. And you already know, like, the person you're dealing with isn't going to want to put up with them. Yeah, three of wands want to come out in reverse. You're not waiting for anything. I feel like a free spirit energy. And you're just like, what? If what's for me will be for me, okay? With the knight of swords, I do see this masculine energy reaching out, though. For sure, I do. Ten of wands. Karmic two, though. Could be the karmic two. Ten of pentacles. No. It's both, okay? And I'm going to tell you why. This masculine, in this case, wants to reach out to you. And you all smash that like button if you hadn't spoke to this person in a little while. And by masculine, I mean the action-oriented person that's in an action energy. Could be a, a male or could be a female, okay? Um, but they're in, they're performing an action right now to get what it is that they want in their reality, like manifest their reality, right? And you are in this receiving energy where you're going to receive exactly what it is that you deserve. And if it's more than what this person can offer, then you will attract something better, okay? So <clears throat> this person wants to reach out, the masculine, as well as the karmic, because they feel that masculine pulling their energy away you know when they like just feeling like the karmic was already anticipating that this masculine would come towards you anyway that would leave them yeah with the king of wands <clears throat> we have the pair to the queen of wands okay this person is handsome or beautiful as well you all make like a power couple both very creative okay with the seven of pentacles here I do see a lot of patience, planning, strength, and five of swords. So you and this masculine, a characteristic that you all have of your relationship that's completely different from this masculine and this karmic's relationship is that you don't argue. 
Like, you're not going to go into a frenzy yelling at this person, doing the most, this, that, and the next. You just going to, you know, give each other some space. So smash that like button if that's you. Okay, but that's the energy that I'm getting. And that's what this masculine prefers. That's how they are. They're more of like a chill person. I'm getting like you're more of a chill person. Smash that like button if that's you. And it's like you focus on things that are worthy of your time. In the next 48 hours, I see a masculine reaching out to you. Okay, I see them breaking it off with a karmic. I see the karmic doing some, you know, childish shit. Okay, they're going to lie about it. They're going to lie to you in some shape or way, you know, um, or they're going to attempt to. And they're definitely going to lie to this masculine and say that they didn't do anything, right? Nonetheless, I see the karmic being triggered, one minute being one way, next minute being another way, okay? And then there is an instant where this person screams out for attention, but the masculine is paying attention to you. Moving forward to close out this read, what to expect? 48 hours, we have the sacred union, partnership or romance. That's what you can expect in the next 48 hours. We also have the prison wrath, self-sabotage, poverty, consciousness. Damn, so while a union takes place, romance in a union, someone falls into self-sabotage and a poverty consciousness. And I'm getting that that's the person that was left behind. Overall energy is the well watcher, wisdom, power of the divine. I feel like you're moving towards somebody that is a soulmate. Well, actually they're moving towards you. See discernment, clear vision and details, the ringmaster of scrutiny. It's an energy here where you use your discernment as this person comes towards you. And I believe you let them come because they come correct. So expect that in the next 48 hours. Remember you always have free will. Okay. So if this message resonated with you, then smash that like button. If you want to see more reads like this one, smash that like button. Thanks for your love and support to this channel. Until then, peace and love.